Hello again, it's Phil from Scholarcy. Today I'm going to show you our improved markdown export in the Chrome extension, which is also available in our flashcard generator and Scholarcy library. And what this does now is also extract the tables from the PDF of an article and breaks them down into separate tables, each with their caption. So we have a preprint in our browser here and we have the Scholarcy Chrome extension installed. I'm just going to run this on the paper. So we get the flashcard as before with the you know all the sections extracted, the comparative analysis and so on. Um, but now we've got the um, download to uh, Rome, Obsidian and Notion. Um, this is now enhanced with table extraction. So I'm just going to show that now. So I click the download button. Uh, I'm going to download the export to um, my default library in Obsidian. So I'm using Obsidian here, but this will work with Notion or other tools. Uh, you can just export to those and import the file into those tools. So I'm going to click Save here. So I've got Obsidian open here, and you can see the paper that I've just downloaded has been converted automatically into our summary flashcard format, but now it's available in Obsidian, and you can see how then this paper is connected to other papers in your Obsidian library. So for example, if I click on heart rate variability here, I can see other papers that talk about heart rate variability. If I click on emotion regulation, I've got other papers here that talk about that, and it highlights highlights those there, and I can go and explore those. But the main bit I wanted to show you here is this new feature here with now the tables that are in the PDF have automatically been extracted into this markdown format. So we can, you know, we can go in and edit these if we want, but we can see them in a the nicely rendered view here that we could then copy and paste into other formats if we want to examine the data further but we've just got that nice information here in an easy to read format which is perhaps more easy to read and understand and follow and analyze than it is if in the, the original PDF and then we've got the rest of the flashcard as normal so we've got the key points we've got the overall synopsis of the article including link references um, I've got the references at the back each linked to their open access version or to Google Scholar We've got all the information that was in the flashcard, but it's now available in your personal knowledge management tool. So whether you use Notion, whether you use Roam, whether you use LogSeq, or you use Obsidian, this universal format, this markdown format, can be interchanged between all of them. Uh, and this can be a great way of organizing your research and using this for the basis of your annotations and highlights and so on. Great, so I hope you found that useful, uh, and I just wanted to highlight that new feature that we've got now for you with the table extraction. Any suggestions, as always, we're on Twitter, YouTube, and elsewhere, so look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much.